So here we are with Piper's puppies. She has five puppies with uh, Zeus. Zeus is a try, just like this little girl here. And Piper is right here. She's our cafe phantom girl. Piper, come on, sweetie. We want to see you. So Piper is about 20 pounds on average. And Zeus is more like 27, 28. So he's crossed over to be a medium and she's a mini. Um, we've got various sizes here with the puppies, but uh, the, Karen is uh, is uh, the lady that's been raising them. And uh, she has Cassidy? Caleb. Kate. This is uh, Sorry. Caleb. Caleb. Yes, Caleb. She has Caleb on her lap. Now, Caleb is the smallest pup. He's a yes. male. He's a phantom. These black phantoms will carry chocolate, and they all carry party from their dad, Zeus. Um, so they all carry... Well, they're, they're all phantom, anyway. Um, because Zeus is a try, and Piper is a phantom. Um, but there is party and chocolate behind his jeans. Yes. Caleb's jeans, right? Yes. So I, I'm guessing in his weight, I think he's probably close to six pounds. We'll find out for sure Tuesday morning, Sunday night now. So we'll find out Tuesday morning when he goes to the vets for his shots. Um, Karen, can you maybe hold him sideways? Sure. He's his proportions nice, are very good. He's a nice boy. Nice uh, glossy coat. Nice, I like very the set nice to the ears. Boy. Yeah. Um, you can see the tan markings that are quite prominent on him. His brother has his his markings are a little bit more prominent, but he's bigger. Yeah, Cassidy. Cassidy, yeah. And then there's a chocolate male as well. well um, Cassidy's the chocolate male. And which one is that? This one at your feet or the one to the left? He's big. The one to the left. Yeah, this this is Cassidy. So he he's quite a bit bigger. So yeah. he's probably going to be more like Dad, twenty. I think so. Pounds. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're going to um, talk about each puppy now. Karen's going to give you a little bit of information on each one. We're going to use this video for the puppy selections. They're ready to go home next weekend. I have not made my selection yet. I may be picking this little fella here as a trade with another breeder. Oh, you're looking at me so sad. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're eight weeks on Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, so okay. So that's good to know. Yep. I was saying it was seven, but they're eight. Okay. All right, so this is Caleb. Karen, what, what can you tell me? Caleb is a gem. He's just wonderful. He's calm. He's inquisitive. He's got excellent eye contact. Um, he's just a nice, nice <laughs> He's dog. looking at me kind of strange. Yeah. Normally, no um, our puppies are much better socialized, but with COVID, we don't have a lot of visitors these days. So, so it's so just he's looking me. at me like I'm a bit of a stranger. Yeah, Why is she me? sticking this thing in my face? Yeah. He's a nice boy. Yeah, he's got a lovely coat. Yes, beautiful. Pretty little fella. What's he's his tail a, like? Yeah, his tail is nice. Is it a curly tail or a saber tail? I think it's a saber tail. Yeah, he's got a cock to the side there a little bit yeah. at the end, but it's not It's not like <laughs> a piggy curl. I'm not curl. holding him right. Yeah. Well, we'll put him down. He'll set his tail right there. Yeah. Okay, so that's Caleb. Yeah, his tail looks good. Yeah. Okay, next. This little girl is. Um, this is Claudia. Claudia. She's a beauty. Yeah, and she looks like her mommy. Yeah. yeah. She looks like her mommy. Yeah. Now, so, mommy has the dilution gene. She did fade quite a bit, but there's no telling whether these puppies will get that for sure. Zeus's puppies, so far, have not. And Zeus has not faded. So, you know, there's 50% chance, I guess, that they get the dilution gene from mom. But they have a brother, Denzel who's a year and a half old. I guess he's almost two. Mm -hmm. And he's chocolate and tan. He hasn't faded much no, at all. No, he hasn't at all. So not all of Piper's, pup yeah. Pi Piper's puppies. Piper's puppies picked a pack of fickle puppies. <laughs> um, so yeah, so tell us about Claudia. Claudia is a gem as well. She um, She's just very inquisitive, very friendly, always playing. Yes, you are. Um, she... Take, can take the boots to her brothers and hold her own. So, uh, yeah, she's just a really nice girl. Okay. All right, so that's Claudia. So Claudia, my guess would be she's probably closer to 24, 25 pounds. She's a good-sized girl. I think she'll be a little bigger than Mom. 
Again, the, the seven, the eight week waits on Tuesday will help us determine yeah, yeah, where so. they're at, but I'm just guessing based on experience. So, okay, so that's Claudia. Yeah. Is this the big guy? That's the chocolate guy, yep. Yeah, this is Cassidy. So Cassie looks He's to be the, the biggest by far. Biggest. So Cassie here is probably going to be a small medium, I would say. More like his dad. Because he is very long and quite solid. He's a solid guy, yeah. Hey, buddy. Look up. Look way up. I'm the jolly green giant. Come on. I know. He's got some long ears on him. He does. Yeah. Very long for yeah. a labradoodle. You see that often in the golden doodles, but not so much in the labradoodles. He's got the longest ears. Very long. Yeah. You compare him to uh, Caleb. I like the shorter ears myself. But sorry, buddy. That's just me. You're still very cute. I love your ears. Yeah. I do. Yeah. It's because I love you. So what can you tell us about uh, Cassidy? He is uh, probably the leader of everybody. Not because he's bigger but just his personality mm -hmm. he gets he gets everyone going he's first at the chow dish and um, and pe and people like to sleep with him like they all pile on top of him yeah i guess because he's the biggest but, yeah they, they go to him for okay and karen's been saying for the last couple of weeks this is one of the nicest litters that she's raised oh, and she's raised uh, how many litters for me now we're unbelievable the 20s and they 30s, are so probably. nice they are quiet. Mm -hmm. They don't, I mean, they, they're, they're busy and they interact with me and they love it when I'm in here. Um, Peeing on the pee pads. Hello, <laughs> good girl, Claudia. Good, good, good girl. There's those cast, uh, Caleb there again. He's pretty darn cute. He is. I see you. <laughs> oh, my saucy. Okay, so that is Cassidy. So now we have the other black phantom boy. Or wait, that wasn't, I was saying no, that this was Caleb, is, this, but that wasn't Caleb. This, this is Caleb here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. So the one that I just showed was not Caleb. It was, it was um, Claudia. No, the black one. The other oh, yeah. black boy. What's his um, name? Isn't that awful? Cooper. No, Cooper. not Cooper. <sighs> okay, I'll go check the sheet. <laughs> Karen's, Karen's having a brain fart. We're having a brain freeze here. He's the bottom one. Connor? Yes, Connor. Okay. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so let's grab, so this is him here. So we'll, we'll grab Connor. Come on, maybe, maybe not. Come on. He says, catch they me. They really like can. to use their feet. They really yeah. Their hands. Oh, my gosh. They're so good. Okay. He's got really nice markings. He does have really nice markings. His ears are a little long, too. Yes. But not as long as Cassidy's. No. I don't know if it's the length or the set. They seem to be set low on his They own. do, yeah. yeah. But he's got some very distinct pants. Yes, markings. very nice. His, I love his eyebrows. They're yeah. just wonderful. Yeah. And his very cheeks. Good. And then he's got a flash across here. Okay, yeah. So he's a little more heavily marked than his little brother. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But what I think his brother has going for him is a smaller size. Yeah. So... Unless somebody's looking for a bigger dog, that's fine too. Okay, so uh, Connor, let's talk about Connor. He is great. He's uh, he he can be quite chill. He plays well with everybody. Yes, and you know me when I'm coming in. You get all excited. Yeah, I know. Um, really good eye contact. He really tracks and follows things well. He plays with everyone really well. So we don't have anybody that's on the shy side no, or reserve side. You know, they're I, all pretty I would say the these are pretty all, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. um, no, Nobody sits back and is shy or watches. They just all, they're always. Right. So, so getting back to Cassidy, you said he's like the leader of the pack, but he yeah. doesn't, he's not like ex exceptionally dominant. No, it's no, just no, somebody no. has to be the leader. And yeah, it just exactly. Happens to be him. And when, when he lays down, they want to come and cuddle with him. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, kind of, always he one leads, there leads a few things, too. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are you going to okay, eat my boots? Okay, so that is Connor. You're yeah. very handsome. Yes, you are. So, again, if I had to guess, he's probably close to six and a half, seven pounds. So I think so. I'd yeah. probably put him at that 23 to 25 pound mark. Whereas the little <laughs> Caleb, he's going to be a little bit smaller than that. Yes. Ouch. 
And then the last one is Sister, try Sister oh. Cordelia. Cordelia. So she is a try. It's kind of hard to tell, but she's got those brown she, eyebrows. And, and brown cheeks. cheeks, yeah. And if there's any color, the, the, the phantom markings will only show up on the dark color. So the fact that she doesn't have dark legs means that she won't have the tan feet. Sometimes they have like some tan around their bums, but if it's, she's got a white bum, no, she's you got won't a white see it. Bum. So you're only ever going to see the eyebrows and the cheeks, and they'll probably kind of fade out like her dad's, like yeah. this. Um, he is a try, but it, you you wouldn't necessarily know by looking. Um, she's got that dark face, which is hard to see her pretty little eyes. There yes. she is. There she is. Yeah. So they all have nice. Um, straighter fleece coats. I don't think we're going to have a ton of curl with these pups. There'll be no. some waves, but no tight curls for sure. All soft fleece, non shiny. Um, what can you tell us about uh, Cordelia? It's the same. She is um, calm. She um, interacts with everyone equally. They, they play. They do everything perfectly. They're quiet. They're very comfortable just sitting there with you. Oh, yeah. They just they melt love right to be held. They just snug in. Yeah. Of course, they spend a lot of time holding them. Yeah. So they, they like that for sure. Um, they're all crate trained. They don't pee in their crate at, uh, crate at night. So. That's good. And as you can see, they're pee pad trained for the most yeah. part. Yeah. yeah. We use uh, hospital incontinent pads. We used to use the paper um, disposable ones, but we were going through so many of them. They shred, and they just them, shred up them and play yeah. with them. I mean, yeah. they love paper. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And they like to play with their toys. So let's get a little, uh, just turn her around. She's got quite a big marking on her back right there. Yep. And then she's got some more a little ring on black the down the yep. bum. So in order to be called a party, you have to be at least 50% white. I'd say she's probably 65, 75% white. So she's definitely a party. And she's got this band that runs here, mm. but it doesn't go all the way around. Yeah, I like the little white puffs on her head. I know. She did have a circle here, but then it's kind of filled in. Yes, because it's gross. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, she had a dot on her head. I she think, did. When yeah. she was born. Yeah, yeah. little yeah. dot. Yeah. I was thinking of calling her dot, and I thought that was silly because the dot's not going to stay there. Yeah. Yeah. You're a sweetheart. I know. Well, so that's it for our selection. We'll, we'll put her down. We'll just kind of take some... A little bit of video here. We're at 12 minutes, so I don't want to be too long. We only upload 15 minutes, but they're, you know, they're doing everything puppies to say should do. Playing, they wrestle a lot. Um, they're playing with their toys. They play hard for an hour, sleep for two, sleeping in the crates at night, onto the hard kibble. Oh, they um, love their. Crates. So they'll get their shots on Tuesday, and they'll start going home probably on Friday. It was funny today when I was bathing them. As I bathed them, I put them in the crate, and Mummy was in here, and she played with them all individually, one at a time, as they went for their bath and then go on vacation. And the last one, she nursed them. Oh. <laughs> she hardly has any milk left. Yeah, so. but they still want to go in. They do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's it for Piper's Pups at, uh, well, just shy eight weeks. Yep. Eight weeks on Tuesday. So we'll post this up to YouTube and send the email out and see if we can get some adoptees. I don't think it'll be a problem. We've got a lot of people on our reservation list that would love to have some of these puppies. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to please everybody, but that's the way it is. And we'll be another litter right behind them in a few weeks. Uh, Bell's Double Doodle Minis. Uh, they're five weeks old. And then that will be it until probably the end of February. It's uh, mid-November today, November 15th. All right, that's it.